It's Thursday, September 21st, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. The latest Auditor General report says government reached the financial rules in how it dealt with expenditure on the Sam Lord's Castle project. But Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Ryan Strawn, says that's not so. According to the Auditor General's 2022 report, millions of dollars were spent in excess of what was recorded under the Assets Under Construction account, and this money should have been provided for in the estimates. The Barbados Diabetes Foundation is about to launch a new program to better screen people for vascular diseases in the country. The organization has acquired a machine for this purpose. Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Timothy Antron, says that a recent survey finds that it is too difficult to open a bank account in the Eastern Caribbean. We are now working with our financial institutions, licensed financial institutions, to ease the requirements to open a bank account without doing violence to our obligations to fight money laundering and financial crime. Homicides continue to mount in Trinidad. Police say four people were shot dead in the same house around 12.30 this morning. Three teenagers are now deceased along with a 10-year-old. On the other hand, there are four teenagers injured and one person in their early 20s, another in their mid-20s. In Jamaica, there are more calls for the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Marissa dalrymple Philibert to step aside as presiding officer in the lower house until the eight charges she is facing are dealt with by a court of law. The mounting calls for Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert to step down as House Speaker stem from a report from the Integrity Commission which recommended charges be laid against her for making false declarations to the Commission about her ownership of a Mercedes-Benz motor car. Social commentator Dr. Ralston Nimard is among those who are saying she should step aside. Nobody is saying that you're guilty. You're assumed innocent until you're proven guilty. But at the very least, it doesn't smell good for you to think that you could be presiding over the people's parliament with all of this hanging over your head. The United States has described as unacceptable Venezuela's clear threat to oil companies that have bid for eight oil blocks offshore Guyana. The U.S. Secretary of State for Western Hemispheric Affairs has called on Venezuela to respect international law. Scores of Venezuelan nationals have been deported from Trinidad despite pleas from relatives for the state to keep them in that country. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland has been defending the work of the Justice Department before the House Judiciary Committee. I am not the President's lawyer. I will add, I am not Congress's prosecutor. Justice Department works for the American people. India has suspended visa services for Canadian citizens amid an escalating row over the killing of a Sikh separatist on Canadian soil. Tensions flared this week after Canada said it was investigating credible allegations linking India with the murder of the separatist leader. India has angrily rejected the allegation, calling it absurd. As far as the weather forecast is concerned, we are told that we can expect a mix of sunshine and clouds with occasional scattered light to moderate showers. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.